I'm delivering some gripe water. Gripe water is for babies who have gas and they need help because they have digestive problems. And what I'm about to talk about right now is what we're gonna teach in our online webinar because we are teaching mutual aid workshops in addition to a creative writing workshop during this COVID time. And all of the proceeds are gonna benefit Native families who are struggling during the economic slump. And this is really cool because this gripe water and also some baby, um, you know, vitamins. This was uh, requested through our mutual aid network in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And so people fill out a form. They say, yo, I need some baby vitamins. I'm, I'm now delivering this to a single parent who is stuck at home with their nine-year-old baby who cannot leave the house. And so when, when we have this mutual aid network, they're like, wow, I need some help because all my friends are in social isolation and we don't have any way of getting these for my baby. And so I said, all right, I'll go get the stuff for your baby. And I, I got the stuff for the baby and here I'm about to deliver it. So in our upcoming webinar, we're gonna teach you how to set up these mutual aid programs in your community or how to join a pre-existing one. And that's really exciting to me because you know, this is this type of mutual aid stuff. We, sh we should always be doing this, I think, maybe, you know, because especially with the climate crisis coming on, the more connected we are and the more supportive we are in community networks, the more we're going to thrive in the face of any hardship. And so I'm really excited to go deliver these and practice a little bit of community love and be there for each other. This is someone I've never met, but they just filled out our Google form and they were like, hey, I need this. They're one of hundreds of people who are expressing needs right now. And we get to link them up with people who can help, people who are able to go around um, and buy groceries, maybe help with rent. We have a fund, we have a fund that we've cultivated of, you know, quite a bit of money that we can give to people who can't pay rent, you know, things like that. So it's pretty cool what we're doing here in Santa Fe and I'm hoping to export this to all the communities uh, who, who take our webinar. And if you wanna register, just click the link above and you can be a part of our webinar. And we're not just teaching mutual aid trainings, we're also doing a creative writing workshop. So we can be together, we can create, we can process what's going on. And with the suggested sliding scale donation of 20 to $50 to take this online webinar, you are donating to a separate fund that is specifically for Native families. So please take the class, please join us. We'd love to see you there. And we appreciate everything you're doing and where you're at. And uh, I can't wait to see you all Sunday during our live webinar. And if you can't make it, we'll send you a recording. All right. Talk to you all soon. Peace. I wrote this poem as an ode to the gorge canyon by my house. When I close my eyes at night, I can feel the rock being cut open by water. I hear a grandfather's song and it sounds like sand walking down the river bottom. And in this song they talk about how even the mighty canyon walls were carved by meandering streams. Beneath the gentle waters there are people, not people like you and I, stone people. And when I close my eyes at night, I am one of them. And God, she is the water. And over lifetimes, she courses over me until I am polished and smooth. She teaches me about patience and commitment. She teaches me how to be gentle, yet persistent. And in her language of trickles and bubbles, she speaks to me and she says, journeys, journeys, take them. But try not to forget who you are along the way. I have nothing for you but these words. So place them in your pocket and I will see you again when you arrive at the ocean's throne as one million kernels of sand. Her voice hums in my blood, quiet as a stream in the night, and it is this song about how we are all just so loved. The eagles dip their talons into her soft body and pull from it a fish, a flesh mule for their children. They sing this grandfather's song with her and it sounds like feathers cutting into the sky, and it is this song about how even hatred surrenders to wonder. She is breaking my heart apart like a stubborn granite puzzle of problems, and even my hardest doubts and sorrows 
are breaking apart and giving way to her infinite grace. And who knew that sometimes grace can come in the form of a raging river, that when you stand in it, it rips away everything you think you own, all the blame and all the shame, and replaces it with a weightlessness so profound that you can't not cry tears of absolute praise and run all around the riverbanks shouting to the cattails and the minnows and the crawdads about the truth of beauty, about the truth of a creator that breathes through the trees, truth of a creator that weaves winter from water and night, the truth of a creator that weaves bodies from dust and light and carries us down the river of life over and over again until we finally understand the meaning of forever, forever. In the language of the stones, there is no word for mistake. There is only a complete knowing of what it means to be a beloved son or daughter. We are the rocks and God, she is the water. Hope to see you there this Sunday at our live webinar where we're going to write poetry and just get all into our feelings and write stuff and not care if it's good or not. Um, and if you can't make the live webinar, we'll send you a recording and you can do the class with us on your own. Okay, see you soon. Have a good day. Let us never forget John Trudell's wife, children, and mother-in-law, who were burned to death in a suspicious house fire which was never investigated. Six million women thrown to the flames The library is burning, I'll remember their names The first colonization of the human race Didn't happen in America, it happened in the place of mom Mom, oh Lord, mother country my the people's land Na sha the people's soil I hear you calling We've been afraid to look at the past And see the truth that's there But take my hand, let's walk the land you don't have to be scared There's an ancient motherland That we have forgotten And great-grandmothers burned at the stake For holding the earth in their hands For holding the earth in their hands For holding the earth in their hands Persecuted as witches Warlocks and killers But these were not evil people These were Europe's healers These were Europe's healers They were healers We descend from healers and This old heart of mine It weeps away And I this old heart of mine, it feels the pain Of all of our ceremonies going up in flames But feeling is healing and these tears 
raindrops are falling like rain Feeling is healing and this is why My mother's medicine lives in the earth Rising from the ashes as we remember Remember I can hear her songs running through my veins As my brothers blow on embers of old bard stories Old bard stories I will place my feet in the Tuscan streams To mend the tattered edges of my father's dreams My father's dreams I will see past the blood and remember the beauty The beauty of our people before the conquerors came the conquerors came I will not choose war I will choose peace And honor the ancestors that live inside of me Live inside of me Live inside of me Live inside of me We are made of stars. We know who we are. We are. We are. We know where we've been and what we survived. 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 All our ancestors did to keep us alive. 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 It's inside you. Inside you. Inside you. They're like guides. They're like guides. They're like guides. They're like guides. We are made of stars. Made of stars. Made of stars. We know who we are, we are, we are, we are. Together as constellations, we carry generations in each beat of our heart, of our heart, of our heart. It's what sets us apart. We are made, we are made of stars.